Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some new Gucci beauty items. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So I was on the Holt Renfrew website and I bought this Gucci beauty powder and they offered a complimentary gift of the Obscure Mascara. So I will be talking about these two today. So I purposefully did not put on any mascara or powder because I want to go ahead and do this with you guys further along in the video. So L'Obscure Mascara retails at 46 Canadian plus tax. And let's go ahead and read off some of the description of this product here. So they claim that this is a buildable mascara created with the ultimate formulation for customizable looks. The rich creamy formula creates instant definition in a single swipe and can be layered to create volume that feels lightweight on the eyelashes. This mascara is not waterproof, but they claim that it does not smudge or flake or migrate around your face. And it's also supposed to last for up to 12 hours. Let's go ahead and test this one out with you guys here. I have the shade number one, Eve Black. I think they only have one color at the moment. Perhaps they will add different colors as time goes on. So first thing to notice is the wand itself looks quite long. You know, sometimes mascara wands look very fat and fluffy. This one here looks a little bit longer and the bristles are a little bit shorter as well. Let's go in and put on some mascara. I have to say that doing this part of the video so far without a mascara has left me feeling quite strange. Okay, so here we have an example of with mascara and without. There is quite a significant difference. Now, I have been wearing this for several days now just to test it out. And what I notice is that this mascara adds a lot of length. As you can see, my lashes are practically hitting my brow bone here. This definitely just adds so much length to your lashes. It also helps curl them a little bit. This mascara claims that it creates instant definition in a single swipe. Here's the tea. I have never encountered a single mascara on this planet that gives you this effect with one swipe. The way that I apply mascara, I go into the lashes and wiggle it around. I don't just go like this, like you really have to put the wand in the lashes like so and wiggle it up like that and that will help coat all the lashes. This is a technique that I use for any and every mascara. So every time a company claims that their mascara gives you everything you need in one swipe, I always take that with a giant cup of salt. That being said, I think this mascara is really great for lengthening. If you want to add lots of length and curl to your lashes, I think this is fantastic. I don't think it adds that much volume. Like if you look at my lashes, they look very long and very curled, but I don't think they look very voluminous, you know? I know that they also claim that this is a very lightweight formula. It is, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the lashes, but it also just feels like a regular mascara. I think if you want to make this buildable and to create more dimension with this, you have to go in when the lashes are still wet. I, I wouldn't try to reapply mascara throughout the day. And something interesting to note is when you pull the wand out of the applicator here, you don't get excessive product on the tip. You know sometimes when you pull out a wand, you have to kind of wipe it off because there's too much product? This one doesn't do that. You get the right amount of product on the wand right away. I'm gonna go ahead and do my second eye here. So for example, if I were to go back into the first eye here and try to add more mascara, this mascara is clearly dry, so you can't really add more layers like they suggest. If you want to add more layers to the mascara, do it while it's still wet. So they also claim that this mascara doesn't smudge, doesn't flake, doesn't feather, doesn't move around. That I can say is 100% true. 
this mascara stays in place. It doesn't run, it doesn't feather, it doesn't break down. You don't get any little bits under your eyes here. It really stays in place. This overall is a really great mascara. It's definitely luxury and bougie, but if you are curious about this mascara, if you want something that really lengthens and curls your lashes, this one here is really great for that. All right, let's move on to our Gucci Beauty Powder. This is the Poudre de Beauté, also known as a beauty powder. This is supposed to offer a natural matte finish. I have the shade here, number four, and this retails at 81 Canadian plus tax. All right, let's go ahead and read off some of the description here. Encased in a pale pink refillable click compact with Gucci lettering, gold trim and a mirror, this buildable face powder creates a unified complexion to look naturally perfected. Offering a lightweight, visibly smooth texture to the skin, mattified with a natural finish. A brilliant combination of micro-reflecting lamellar powders spread smoothly on the skin for a unified complexion with emollient agents providing comfortable feel all day long. The powder is boosted with a delicate floral fragrance, enveloping the senses as it comes into contact with the face. So you can use this on its own as a complexion item or you can go ahead and put it on top of your foundation. Personally, I prefer to put it on top of my foundation, so that's what I'm doing today. I have a foundation and concealer, and we're gonna go ahead and apply this over top. I just realized that this powder has a floral scent to it. It's very, very light. You only notice it if you stick your nose in the powder. And I personally didn't even notice it when I was wearing it on my face. It's nowhere near as strong as the Guerlain face products. I find that a lot of their foundations and highlighters, etc., even their bronzers have a lot of fragrance, whereas this one here is very, very light. So this compact here is a light pink with gold. It came with this little pouch here. It also says Gucci on it. I'm not sure what fabric this is. It definitely is not velvet or velour. Honestly, this pouch does leave a little bit to be desired. It's not very bougie or fancy in my opinion. And I think this is just me being nitpicky because I have a lot of pouches from Chanel, Dior, Tom Ford, etc. And I just feel like this fabric doesn't feel as nice. I don't know, it just doesn't feel as luxurious as some of the other ones out there. So you have your compact here, you open it up and you have your powder, and then underneath you have your sponge. And I think one of the best engineering feats that this company has done is you can actually click the compact closed here. So when you wanna get your powder, you don't have to worry about it closing on you. You can just click it closed like this. And then you can grab your powder. I just think that this is a small detail in engineering that they did really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this lightly over my face. I'm gonna go ahead and focus more on the T-zone. And you actually do get quite a bit of product just by pressing lightly into the compact here. and put a little bit everywhere. So this color here is number four, and I think that four is a perfect shade match for me, but if I wanted to have something brighter just for my under eyes, I think maybe three would work, but just as an overall face powder, I really think that this one here works quite well. So if you pass the sponge around your nose, and you breathe in at the same time, you will notice the floral scent, but again, it's very light. But other than that, you don't notice it at all when it's on your face. This compact here screams vintage to me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the gold trim here. I don't know if it's the light pink shade or just the compact itself, but there's something about this that just is so fantastic. I absolutely love the packaging, I love the detailing, I love the colors they used. I think that this is pure luxury. So as you can see, the powder did diminish a little bit of the luminosity and shine on my face, but not all of it. You can still see some luminosity under the eye here, 
on my forehead and even on my chin here it's not a flat mat that just like sucks all the moisture out of your skin i'll go ahead and include some wear test videos right here but i noticed that this powder doesn't really pick up on any dry skin it doesn't settle into my smile lines it doesn't flake it doesn't pick up on any texture it kind of just helps give a wash of velvet finish on your foundation which is really nice i'm not usually a huge powder person but it is getting warmer out it is getting hot and summer weather so it is nice to just put a little bit of powder on my face just to help set my foundation and help it stay a little bit longer throughout the day now they do have a dozen or so colors to choose from and my friend on instagram mariel she went ahead and got one of the darker colors to use as a bronzer and i think she quite likes it as a bronzer so even though this is a face powder you know you could really use it for anything you wanted to you could go ahead and get one of the lighter shades and use it as a brightening powder under the eye if that's what you wanted so if you go ahead and use this powder on its own, it's okay, but for me, if I'm going to wear a very light complexion item, I want it to be a cream or liquid because I want more of that luminosity and glow. But if you had more oily skin, you could definitely go in with just this, just to help mattify a little bit and give a little bit of color and just sort of unify your skin tone. But for me personally, I prefer it over top of my foundation, just very lightly like this. I didn't even realize that this compact here is refillable. I'm not exactly sure where you can get the refills, but as it is now, I don't think I need a refill for several months. So I'm gonna hold off on that for now. So overall, I am very pleased with this purchase here. I am very lucky that I was able to get this sample of the mascara because I went on the Holt Renfrew website fully intending on buying both the powder and the mascara, but when they offered the mascara sample for free, I thought, why not? So yeah, those are the final thoughts. Both are really lovely, both are great, and this packaging is to die for. The packaging of the full-size mascara is also really pretty. It has that beautiful light pink and gold detailing. The sample here is just kind of a boring black. I understand that they can't always go extra fancy on the sample packaging, but the full-size one I think will have the same sort of luxurious effect to it. All right, guys, I think this about does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some useful information on some of these new Gucci beauty items. Let me know down in the comments if you've picked up either of these items or if you're planning to in the future. So if you guys are new to my channel, I talk about nothing but luxury beauty. And whenever I get a new collection, I will go ahead and create several different looks with the same items. So that way you guys at home really get a sense on how to use up all of your makeup. And I also have a new series on my channel called Beauty History, where I dive into the history and legacies of different fashion houses or makeup brands. So if any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe. All right, guys, I think this about does it for today's video. I thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.